Hello my loves, it's Kasha Planarista 101. Today I have a bit of a different video for you guys. I am going to be testing all of these pencils and writing utensils and happy notes. So I have quite a bit. I am just stocking them up right now as you can see to show you how much we're going through. We're gonna go through so much. Sorry for shaking the camera. First and foremost, I'm going to go through my bin, which sits on my desk, and I, I use this for my planner all the time. So I have tools, colored pencils, black pencils, Muji, um, some fine liners. So there's a whole bunch of different things here. I'm going to be testing them out all in a happy note, including all of the items that you just saw me pull out so there's sharpies there's all sorts of things and this container i love it is linked in my description it can stand flat or i can stand on the side it is absolutely amazing i love using it and i wouldn't have it any other way so we have i'm gonna go through all of them so we have le pen these are really really awesome these are a little pricey then i have uh, the micron graphic which is practically a knockoff off of the micron I have some metallic pens. So I have some high-end brands and I have some affordable brands. I'm going to be linking everything down below. If you are already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. And if this is your first time stopping by, thank you, thank you. I hope you guys like it here and please consider subscribing. So I am truly this is this video took so long to film i hope you guys really like it so i have some alcohol based markers that i'm going to be trying this way you guys will know what you can use in your planner without shadowing too so i have some zip, um, zebra mild liners um some prism color colored pencils i use those in my planning once in a while i have the click art zebra pens these are so cool there's three sets there's a light standard and dark you can buy them individually or you can buy them as a set like i did so i'm going to be kind of doing a quick review of each one as i test them in on my planner pages so i have outline pen i have some paint markers I have the Ohohu. These are super famous. These are alcohol-based markers. These are great. They come in a case like this and they have so many different variations. Then I have the Zena Color Fine Liners. I have 60 of those. These are really amazing. They come in trays. They're already like kind of color-coded. So that's a lot of fun. And they come with um, a little bit of literature and a color matching page. So these are fun. And then we have the Tambo Recycled Colored Pencils. Those are not very common, but once in a while um, I see them and I use them because they have such a different colors. These are Amazon Basic Brush um, Markers. So these are great for lettering and they're so affordable and they actually come with the stand. And then I have Premium Colored pencils from Amazon Basics. Please stay tuned for this because this is actually incredible. People compare these to the Prismacolor and they're actually hold up pretty well. And then I have Zena Color colored pencils and those are 122. Um, so that's a huge pack of the pencils. And then I have the watercolor pencil set and I am going to be using the water portion in my planner. So I'm going to start off with the everyday pens that I use in my planner. So the ones that you saw in my little cube. So I have all of the blue pens and the ones that I use kind of like a regular pen without too much. So this is Uniball Signa. So I'm just writing the names of the pens so you guys know what it is. So all of these that I'm writing out are practically really, really great. I use them on a regular basis. I enjoy writing with them. They are very much loved and tested over and over and over again. 
So these are the ones that mostly go in my planner and I use black ink my everyday planner most of the time. I use colored ink for journaling and I use a blue ink for work a lot of times. So now we go into the micron pans and I'm just gonna arrange them by size. So these are actually archival ink, means they last forever in your notebook. They never really fade away. So, or there's like a very long time compared to a regular pen. So that's what that means. It, they're higher quality, but they're also a little bit more expensive. Okay, so no shadowing. Obviously I've been using these in my planner. I wouldn't take any shadowing. So now we have some Tombow um, brush and these are hard brushes. So they're really not that flexible when you want to letter with them. And I don't really letter very much. This is something that I'm going to be learning at one point when I have time. Okay, and then SIPA 3.8 is a pen I talk about quite often. I'm going to be doing a full review of that soon. I have a couple of metallic pens. They're not very visible and I don't use them very often. And this is Stadler and these are fine liners and there's three of them. I have a brown, a red and like a gray purple. So those are the three. I had more but I didn't use them so I gave them away. Pilot V5 blue those are the precision ones look how beautiful and thin they are these are actually extra thin and then we have paper made flare and those are in size medium and of course they're beautiful and vibrant and now I have the paper made ink joy um, a 0.5 and the G stands for gel Okay, next up we have the tool pan. These are amazing. These are fine liners. So they do have a felt tip. Those are the pans in the bin and now let's move on. The next up is the Micron Graphic and I'm going to be doing one by one of those. So these were supposed to be comparable to the Micron Pen. I don't even write the full graphic name, I just put Micron GRA, which I know it's going to stand for graphic for me. So I'm just doing different sizes. So this comes with a set of 12 and they have different thicknesses. It's actually pretty great. It writes really well and I enjoy using them. The nice part about these is the number of the size is on the top cap. So that kind of um, lets you see it from the top while you're grabbing. So the ones that are kind of markers, one, two, three, I'm going to do a quick line next to them, but that's kind of what they look like. Next up is my Muji 3.8. As you probably notice, I really enjoy fine pens. The Muji 3.8 is super fine and it comes in a variety of colors. I think I have a pack of 9 or 10, something like that. So these come just in a foil. Next up is one of my favorite pen pens ever and it is Fine Liner and it's SIPA. And I bet once people discover this um, more and more this will blow up. I used to buy these pens for about $2.99 a package. I think they're a lot more now. I'm not sure, but I really love them. I've been using it for probably four to five years. 
since they've been on the market and I really, really like them. They're so vibrant and beautiful and they take to the paper super well and they don't bleed. Okay, next up, we're gonna have the Le Pen. Those are a little bit more expensive um, and higher quality according to reviews, but I'm not sure. I probably would still take my Sipa pen over this. They're really, really nice. They have so many colors. Um, so I have two packs of those. And let's do the second one. So the second one is more standard. It comes with two blacks and two blues. And then you have um, a green, a darker green, red, pink and purple. So there we go with that. Okay. Now I have these fun metallic pens. This company is not very known. Um, I will link it down below if you want to see it. These are kind of cool and different. They come in two packs. Um, there's two different packs that you can pick from. They're exactly the same. The only thing that's different is the graphic on top of the box. Okay, so that's that. So that's what I meant. That one comes with like a flower, one comes with a little girl on top. The next one that I'm going to be trying in my planner is this paint marker. I want to see if it's going to shadow or bleed completely through. And these are a little bit tricky to start. You have to punch quite a bit and keep them kind of punching until you start them which is kind of interesting i'm not gonna open all of them because that's just too much but these are beautiful and vibrant and they come in a lot of colors and now i'm going to show you guys the outline um pens these are so cool i've never seen anything like it so let me show you So these pens are metallic and then the outline of them turns into color. They're completely different than anything I've ever used before. So they're kind of like a mirror finish when you write with them. And then the back turns into a complete color and they do bleed through. So if you're using it in your planner, you would need to make sure that you're using them in a like on another sheet and attaching it or something like that because otherwise they will completely bleed, bleed through probably a page and a half so you're gonna have some transfer onto the next page as well so that's the outline pen these are absolutely so different i think they're so cool i am going to link a um this product down below for you guys so here we go next up i have the tambo and i have three packs of these and this each one is different this is the gray shades So I'm just arranging them so we can do them by number. So I'm going from darkest to lightest. And these are really, really beautiful. I mean, it's, some of them are the, like the slightest color, but you can see the difference. and. So these are the gray palette 
and now we're gonna do like the portrait palette so this one has a lot of skin tones When I do super neutral spread once in a while, I will use those. But again, some of them are barely, barely visible. So I'll, I will add like a shade behind a clear sticker or something like that. But not by much. I think they're just so gorgeous. So that was that. And then the last one. Last one is a muted palette, so it has a lot of kind of um, olive or muted colors that are not as bright as others. So that's what those look like. There's like mustard yellow and olive green and like a blackish navy. They're really, really beautiful. Okay, so no shadowing, you can use those, no problem. I am just using a regular standard Happy Note. So, so far we have those pages, this is what this looks like. We have tried quite a few pens already. If you guys are still with me, now we're gonna try the Amazon Basics. It actually comes with the stand that you just saw. So these are pretty awesome. I bought the pack of the 48. They're super, super affordable and they have so many colors. So if you're looking for a variety of colors, this is amazing. So I'm just gonna continue. Okay, so now that the Amazon basics are done, 
I am going to move on to zebra. So we have two types of zebras. First, I'm going to do my mild liners. So I have um, three packs of five midliners each. They are absolutely awesome. I know that there are many of those are planner favor favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and do swatches of each one in this happy note. Okay, and now it's time to test the Clickart Zebra Pens. They come in a set of three. There's a standard, dark, and light. I purchased a set of all three. You can also purchase them individually in a pack of 12 if there is only one set that possibly appeals to you. These actually do have numbers, so potentially you would be able to replace them individually I haven't researched that just yet, but these pens are so vibrant and they do have a clicker on top. So that's a little bit different from Zebra. And if you are looking for a additional kind of vibrancy to your crafts, I think this would be more than sufficient. Let me know if you guys have them and how you like them as well. Okay, next up we have the Zena color fine liners. I have a pack of 60 of those. These are absolutely gorgeous. They are vibrant. They're fine liners. They work really well. I had them for quite a few years and they still haven't lost a single pen with as far as ink or drying out or anything like that. So I can attest to the test of time as far as these holding up. They do hold very well. They have the same kind of shape as 
I'm not sure, Stabilos maybe? They're kind of like a hexagon or sixagon, hexagon um, shape in your hand. They feel really, really well. You can grip to the edges. And again, the colors are beautiful. Okay, so the Zena pens are done. There's absolutely no shadowing. This is in a perfect condition. And now I want to talk about these alcohol-based markers. This is by a company, Banyo, or ba Banyo? Banyo, I believe. That's how I, you would pronounce it. So these are beautiful. Um, I have only the basic, so I have 36 basic, basic markers. This cardboard box that it comes in, it's also a stand and it has all of the colors on the top and on the bottom. These markers have labels on each of the little caps, which is beautiful. So one side is like a fine pen, the other one is a very, very thick chisel. So here we go.
Most likely, as you expected, most of these, especially the dark ones, do bleed through. So that's no surprise, but again, if you're using them on a cardstock for your planner, those are amazing. So next up, I am going to be using some colored pencils. These are Tombow recycled color pencils. I don't see them very often. They are, however, very beautiful and vibrant. So I wanted to make sure I shared those with you. Next up is, of course, my one and only Prismacolors. These are so beautiful and vibrant and practically any artist who uses color pencils bases colors off of that. They're just gorgeous, vibrant, but also pricey. So if you do have a pack, make sure you take care of it. And these I had for a very, very long time. I love using them and again they just add something extra to my planner. Okay, testing all of these products for you guys and just exposing my stash, nothing surprised me more than these to be honest. They are so smooth and so 
nice to work with and the pigments are so bright. I would pretty much compare them to the Prismacolor. They are beautiful and they write so nice. They blend very well, they apply very well, the, they hold in your hand super well. So to say the least, they really, really surprised me. I did not expect this quality from Amazon Basics. Okay, the next product is the Magic Fly watercolor set. And again, you could use them as pencils, of course you can, but you can also use watercolor and they work pretty well just like paints. Let's take a look. I am going to apply a few colors of pencils and after that, test them with water and see how they spread and how they do.
Okay, so now I am testing the Zena color pencils and these I have 120 colors of so there's three layers of them it's going to take a little bit but believe me it's worth it the colors of this is incredible not only that but they are so affordable so if you're if you're looking for an affordable option this definitely could be it it gives you so much for your buck but i mean again i don't think they are meant for artists but if you are using them every day in your planner or for artsy stuff these are perfect Okay, 120 colors is a lot. We are finally done. And now I'm gonna show you everything, what that looks like. So we have this first couple pages is with all of these pens and this beautiful bin. So we have some Staedtlers, we have the pilots, we have the paper mate, we have the tools, we have the micro, the micron is the micron graphic that you see here is this pack like i said these are kind of awesome they are so well made i wish i hope that you guys can see the numbers on the top they are so cool so kind of different i am going to link it down below if you guys want to purchase those i am more than happy to point you in the di right direction so that's what we have so far. Let me move this stuff because there's so much stuff on my desk with all of those pens I've been working on. So then we have um, my Muji pens, which I put them in here as well because I've been using them. And then we have a SIPA pens. These are those. They're so vibrant and beautiful. Like I said, I these are some of my favorite. And then we have the La Pen which again they're great but i don't know if i can justify the price with all the other pens being so good as well so there is a darker one and a um, lighter pack and then i have the metallics so those are those and it's two packs they're different one comes with flowers one comes with the girl the colors inside are exactly the same And then we have some of this paint, which I didn't test all of them. I just tested a couple for you guys because they were a hassle to start. I did test all of the outline pens and I've never seen anything like it. I think that's so cool. I hope you guys agree. Then we have the Tombow, which I have three sets. So we have the grays the portrait and then the muted palette so
these are really really muted they're really nice if you want to keep your planner pretty neutral and then we have amazon basics these markers come in this container and they are absolutely awesome so they're a double tip to you have a felt pit for writing and then you have a brush tip for lettering or whatever you choose to then i have my zebra mild liners so i have a small pack of those and again these are great for kind of highlighting your notes or your plans or just adding a pop of color and then we have the big box of the zebra click art so again this is three sets of pens or the one large set so i have three sets in here like i said it's the light one this is the standard one and the dark one so i put them next to each other so you can see you can kind of see the difference when you're looking at them that they're made for different packs they do come with numbers which is nice because maybe eventually you will be able to buy a single replacement okay so next up is the Zena color fine liners so there's 60 of them they are so well packaged and they last a very very long time so i think i've purchased those in 2018 it's going to be multiple three years since I had them, maybe going on four. And then these are the alcohol-based ink markers. These are so much fun to play with, but they do bleed through. So these cannot go in my planner just as they are. They would need to go on top of something else. The next one is the Ohohu, and those are again same alcohol base marker just different company i enjoyed using those as well so this is what those look like they come in this beautiful zipped pouch and you can use those for so many projects next uh, next one i have the tambour recycled pencils which are like i said i haven't seen a lot of people using them or having them i thought they were so cool so i ended up getting them and i don't regret that one bit and of course prisma color the premiere and this is the vitrine and it's beautiful next up we have the amazon basics premium colored pencils and let me tell you i think out of all of this this was my biggest surprise the smoothness and just the vibrancy and the application of this was incredible and the price is so good and then we have a magic fly and these are watercolor pencils so you can use them as pencils but you can also use them as watercolor which helps because then you wouldn't need an extra water um like a paint water ba water based paint and then these are the 120 colored pencils and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed it i know that was a huge stack and i really had fun showing you everything that i have it is insane how much stuff i have i hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed already please do so and i look forward to seeing you very very soon bye